Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we got some gold sculptures and we got the Goron Tunic. Two rupees. And now we're gonna go towards the Fire Temple to learn about Ovalgia or how to fi find him or, you know, find where Drunia is at. He's not here in his little house, a little area, whatever you want to call it. Now we're in Death Mountain Crater. Oh! That was dumb. But, whatever. Wasn't thinking for whatever reason. I forgot that you had to use the hook shot. Did appear. Oh, chick again. Chic again. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passionate friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. You learn the Bolero Fire. Link, I'll see you again. <gasps> Alright, so we learn, learn the Bolero Fire. We could go ahead into the fire temple, do it that way. But first, we have a little thing we have to take care of. Uh, just one little minor thing. Uh, where is it at? Uh. Okay, it's not over. Not it over there. There's a soft soil spot somewhere that we need to actually use for getting a heart piece and maybe it's not here in the future so let's Temple of Time, let's go. This shouldn't take all that long to get. Sometimes we have the warp songs, we just warp there and back. I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. If you play a warp song, then use the put the master sword back, it'll like change the cutscene, I believe. Pretty cool. Dang it, I don't want to do that. I'm already here.
I don't understand why if you press B it's I shouldn't do that. It makes no sense. Like it's so hot in here, we can't stay in here for long. Well, good thing we have a lot of hearts. What I'm gonna do is get out your bug. I also, the gold sculpture in here. I forgot to say that. I just want to get a bug. Also. Then put a seed in there. Now go back to the Temple of Time and grab the sword and then do the whole process over again. So let's try the same thing. We did before with the blur of fire, the master sword, and master sword. But let's try as a kid. Pretty cool, I think. You can do that with any of the warp, any of the warp songs, but uh, I think the Blur of Fire works the best because uh, it's the longest. And that scene takes about the same length of the music. Alright, so we're here. Nope! Oh. You got a piece of hearts. Alright, we're in the middle of this big old black thing. <laughs> Alright, now we can go ahead and go towards the fire temple. Just down this way. But, nope! I don't really want to do that, but whatever. So I think we're gonna stop here, guys. Well, let's just go in. Just so you can see it. Fire temple. So I think we're gonna stop you guys, and next time we'll c we'll get through the the fire temple. Keith, do another heart. I always like the music here, but I'm not gonna continue any further yet. So I'll see you guys next time. For let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'll see you guys then. Bye.